Okay, everybody, we can start. Come on, let's get some food. Come and get some dinner, darling. Prostate cancer, we thought of it as a slow moving old man's disease. And of course, I was diagnosed with an aggressive cancer. It was a big shock to us. Someone says, you've got cancer. And that word strikes terror in your heart. You know, it does. And it was Jeannie who understood the disease. Jeannie who really helped me come back from the depression that hits you when you sort of go, why me? It was important that someone else be there with him to really listen to the discussion because his mind would go to the deepest, darkest place right away. There's a path and a program that we're going on and this is what really was said. It's a men's disease, but it's, it's not really a men's disease, it's our disease because mm -hmm. you've had to live with it. Rod and Jeannie are a wonderful couple. They're optimistic. They're supportive of each other. They have a wonderful family around them. And this has helped Rod through his ordeal over the last nine years. It's inspiring to me to see just the support, the fight, the passion that exists within families, especially the Semp family, as they engage along with Rod in fighting this disease. This is the fifth anniversary coming up of Riley's Step Into Action Run. That Step Into Action Run was to really create awareness around prostate cancer. And it was to raise money to help the Center of Excellence here, the Vancouver Prostate Center. People everywhere in our life were being diagnosed with prostate cancer. And now, you know, I gotta worry about Connor getting it. And I don't want that to be as big a part of my life as it is. So I felt like, I felt like we had to do it, hey? Riley has always been quite a a unreasonable person <laughs> and he's he's the kind of guy that will just kind of do what he what he wants to do regardless of kind of if it makes sense or not you know he's got his own compass and he'll, he'll follow it and I think you decided that that's what you were gonna do and it was like wow awesome you know watching my grandfather passed away from prostate cancer and my dad be impacted by it and some of our really really close friends and in particular knowing that my brothers one of you, if not maybe both of them, could have prostate cancer. We all appreciate life a little bit more. We show up for each other more today than I think we used to. I'm the emotional one in the family. <laughs> we have to start the conversation amongst men when they're younger, when they can be aware of what their vulnerabilities are, what their risks of developing different diseases, including prostate cancer, might be. There are centers of excellence all over the world and everyone they talk to says we're the best or we're in the top 10% or we're the, the top quartile of what we do. Even in the Stanley Cup finals, even in the, the kind of best hockey games of the world, there's always only three stars. And the Vancouver Prostate Center is one of those three stars. It is like the Stanley Cup. It's hard to win. It, it's tough to win. Rod is a successful businessman because of his personality. He wants to see results. He moves things along. He may be a little bit impatient. It matches what we do at the Vancouver Prostate Center quite well because we have a team of scientists that are similarly aggressive in their approach. We don't want to sit around and wait. We want to see results. What I want people to know is don't be complacent. We're not going to hope that you're going to get better. You are going to get better. We're not going to hope that other men are going to get better. They are going to get better. We just need to talk about it. We just need to share it and men need to encourage each other to get tested earlier. What was not possible five years ago is possible today. And in a decade of time, life expectancy has almost tripled such that collectively death rates from prostate cancer continue to fall as we learn how to better control the disease. This is about all of us coming together and fighting this as a single unit. We can do this. When I was diagnosed, Lauren wasn't married. And you, you get hit with this, I'm not gonna see my daughter married. 
I'm not going to see a grandchild. I've got one now and two more on the way. And we just had your wedding. It was awesome. <laughs> so fun. So, but one of the fantastic things is that the Vancouver Prostate Center has managed to hold the wolf at the door. But we need help. And the Prostate Center needs help. Because what we've bought is time. But we haven't found a cure. And we could find that cure here in our backyard. Thank you.